Okay, welcome back miners. Mr. Voorhees shop class here. Today's instructional video, I'm gonna show you how to connect your two trusses together. Um, so without further ado, we'll get started. Hope everybody's doing okay. Give me a second to readjust the camera here. Zoom it in a little bit. Okay, so you can see that uh, I have both of my trusses assembled. The glue has dried and I removed them from my wax paper, okay? And so um, at this point, I'm still using my design. Okay, I've got my side view that I use for the trusses. And now um, I've propped those trusses up along my top view, okay? So if you can see, um, this is why we're gonna use that top view in an effort to align our trusses with one another in our design in order to glue the um, beams uh, that span between one truss to the next. So a um, couple important things. Um, you wanna line your trusses up evenly, okay? From end to end. You can't have one truss kind of sticking out further than the other. Um, on either end. You want them to line up uh, as close as you can. And the next order of business is making sure that your trusses are propped up and they're standing upright, okay? You don't want either one of these trusses leaning either way um, during the gluing process, okay? And so there's a couple ways to kind of uh, get to that point. Um, you can see that I've used these T-pins, okay, you can see I've got a couple on the outside holding that truss up and preventing it from falling towards me. Um, and then I also uh, have a couple on this side, on the, on the inside of this truss to prevent it from falling in. So um, get your trusses stood upright, secure them in place. These T-pins work pretty good. Um, try not to damage this foam board too much we reuse these in the shop, so um, try not to damage those during the process. Uh, and then go ahead and secure your trusses in place. I also pinned um, the trusses down on the bottom. Make sure you don't put your pin through the balsa wood. Um, it's gonna compromise your bridge if you do. So anyhow, without further ado, um, I'll go ahead and get started. I'm not gonna film myself gluing each and every piece. I'm just gonna kinda show you some simple steps. So at this point, I've got all, all of my remaining balsa wood pieces cut to size for my beams, okay? Um, and then I've got a little bit material that was left over just due to all the cutoffs, okay? I can't use these, um, so I'm just gonna set them to the side. Um, Couple items to keep in mind when you're doing uh, these beams is when you install these beams on the bottom, okay, you want those beams to be glued on top of the, the truss member here on the bottom. You don't want to sandwich this beam in between your trusses. You want it to go on top of that bottom member, okay? Um, that way you're relying on the wood to fail versus relying on the glue um, to fail because the glue is gonna fail uh, a lot easier than, than the wood, okay? So that's gonna ensure that you have a strong bridge um, when I put it under the test, okay? And so per my design, um, you can kind of see where I marked all of my beams that are gonna go across the bottom. And so that's kind of where I'm gonna start. I'm basically gonna put a drop of glue um, at each location of my bridge where these beams go. <clears throat> okay, and try to uh, use a minimal amount of glue. There's no reason to, to put a huge blob um, in order to get these beams to stick. 
Okay, so I'm going to do about two at a time. Okay, you'll find that trying to fish these little sticks through in between can sometimes be a pain in the neck. But uh, just do your best. <clears throat> the one, ones on the end are a little bit easier. You can kind of just fish it in through here. And just like that, glue it in place. Okay. Um, when you're securing your trusses upright, it's a good practice to, to place these T-pins away from an area where you're going to install a beam. Okay. That'll help it go a little bit easier. Okay, got my second one in. Okay. Pretty simple process here, just gluing in these beams. Let's see. Do a couple more. And then I'm going to glue in one more before I cut you guys off here. I think you guys get it. Okay. Okay, looking good so far. Um, <clears throat> one tip for you to, to help you um, as far as getting these trusses stood upright um, so that they're not leaning. So here's a tip. Take, take your student guide, fold that in half, and then what you can do, if you set this on your board, you can kind of judge whether or not your truss is leaning one way or the other as you slowly approach that folded up student guide towards it. Okay, And so you should have an equal gap at the top and the bottom. Okay. If you have an equal gap at the top and bottom, then you know your truss is standing perfectly upright. Okay. Um, so that's about it. The process for gluing your beams on the top is, is the same as it is for the bottom. So I hope that helps. Hope your project is going well. We'll see you later.